Uh, this is a U-turn, but somebody commented on the tweet you sent that as one of the top comments, they definitely have to ask you about cryptocurrency. So it's a U-turn, but not really. Okay. Since you're an economist, since you're deep, not an economist. You. I mean, I, I, I pretend to be an economist, hoping that the economists will take issue that I'm not an economist so that I can advance gauge theoretic and field theoretic economics, which the economics profession has failed to acknowledge was a major innovation that happened approximately 25 years ago. I don't think that economists understand what a price index is that measures inflation, nor do I think economists understand what a growth index uh, or a, uh, a product, uh, a quantity index is that measures GDP. I think that they don't even understand the basics of uh, price and quantity index construction. And therefore, um, they can't possibly review uh, field theoretic economics. They can't review gauge theoretic economics. They're intellectually not in a position to manage their own field. You, you talked about that there's a stagnation in growth currently. Mm -hmm. I looked at, from my microeconomics, macroeconomics in college perspective, GDP doesn't seem to capture the productivity, the full, the spectrum of what I think is as a functioning, as said, successful society. They what do you think is broken about GDP? What does it need to include? Uh, these indices, like let what? me let me explain what they don't understand to begin with. Sure. Imagine that all prices and all quantities uh, of output are the same at the end of a year as they are at the beginning. Sure. And you ask, what happened during that year? Was there inflation? They meandered over the course of the year, but miraculously, they, they all came back to exactly their values. The amount produced. Uh, at the end of the year is the same as at the beginning in every single quantity. Typically, the claim would be that the price index should be 1.0 and that the quantity index should be 1.0. That's clearly wrong. Why? Well, it's much easier to see with, it, it, it speaks to a fundamental confusion that economists have. They don't understand that the economy is curved and not flat. In a curved economy, Everything should be path dependence, but they view path dependence as a problem because they are effectively the flat earth society of market analysis. They don't understand that what they've called, and they've actually called it the cycling problem, is exactly what they need to understand to advance their field. So I'll give you a very simple example, okay? Let's imagine that we have Bob and Carol in one hedge fund and Ted and Alice in another. Uh, in both cases, um, the females, that is Alice and Carol, are the chief investment officers. Mm -hmm. And Bob and Ted are the chief marketing officers in charge of trying to get money into the fund and trying to get people not um, to, uh, in fact, uh, remove their, their money from the funds, okay? If you, in fact, had uh, Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, and both hedge funds were invested in assets whose prices came back to the same levels and whose exposures were in the same quantities. And you wanted to compensate these two hedge funds. Would you compensate them the same necessarily? What if, for example, uh, Carol was killing it in terms of investments? Every time she bought uh, some sort of security, the price of that security went up. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Bob was the worst marketing officer. And as chief marketing officer, there were tons of redemptions because Bob was constantly drunk. Um, Bob was making off color comments. Now, as a result, at the end of the year, the fund hasn't grown in size because even though Carol was crushing it in terms of the investments, Bob was screwing up everything be, and the redemptions were legendary. So people were making money and still pulling it out of the fund. Mm -hmm. In so, the other fund, mm -hmm. uh, Alice can't seem to buy a base hit. Every time she gets into a security, the thing plummets. But Ted's amazing marketing skills allowed uh, the fund to get all sorts of new subscriptions and halted the redemptions as people hoped that the fund would get its act together. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Price indices should be how uh, Carol and Alice are compensated. And quantity indices should be how um, Bob and Ted are compensated. So even though both funds had closed loops that come back to the original states, what happened during the period that they were active tells you how people are supposed to be compensated. Hmm. Now we know that whatever the increase in the price index is, is compensated by a decrease in the quantity index or conversely, because prices and quantities return to their original values. You could have another fund where nothing much happened. There were no redemptions, no subscriptions. Prices, the fund remained in cash the whole time. So in that third fund, um, you know, let's call that Tristan and Isolde, right? That fund should have no bonuses paid because nobody did anything, but nobody should be fired either. Now, the fact that the economists don't even understand that this is what their price and quantity indices were intended to do, that they don't understand that you can actually give what would be called ordinal agents the freedom to change their preferences and still have something defined as a uh, CONUS cost of living adjustment. Mm -hmm. They don't even understand the mathematics of their field. So the, the indices need to be able to capture some kind of dynamics uh, that- uh, We have had indices that capture these dynamics due to the work of Francois de Vizier since 1925. But the economists have not even understood what de Vizier's index truly represents. What do you miss with, uh, with uh, such crude indices then? Well, you, you miss the fact that you're supposed to have a field theoretic subject. The representative consumer should actually be a probability distribution on the space of all possible consumers weighted by the probability of getting any particular pull from the distribution. We should not have a single gauge of inflation. Like, what is that in 1973 dollars? Any more than you should be able to say uh, it, it was 59 degrees Fahrenheit on Earth yesterday. 